Cars are being stolen at an eye popping rate in Prince George's County. Even more eye popping, nearly half of the thefts so far this year have been Hyundai and Kia vehicles. That's more than a thousand thefts of those brands alone. You heard that right, more than a thousand since the start of this year. In a story you're seeing first here on 4, one woman says her car was hit multiple times. Denisha Sims owns a 2020 Kia Forte. A car she says she loves and uses to get to her job at Southern Maryland Hospital. But thieves continue to target her car, not once, not twice, but four times in recent months, breaking windows and twice tearing out the ignition outside her Suitland apartment complex. My car is everything to me. My car is my baby. Like, it's valuable to me. I put a lot of effort, hard work, and dedication and stuff into buying things for it to just be ripped away from me. Is it's not, it's not a good feeling. Denisha says the first time the ignition was ripped out, it cost her $2,000 and her insurance company dropped her. And then this past Friday morning. I walked out of my apartment building at around 3.15 in the morning to head to work, you know, and my vehicle is no longer in front of my apartment. Police found it hours later and a few blocks away, again with the ignition ripped out. I feel like something is being taken away from me or I'm being taken advantage of and my apartment complex isn't doing anything about it. The police aren't doing anything about it. What do I do? Where do I go? Where do I turn to? Since the first of the year, 799 Hyundais and 470 Kias have been stolen in Prince George's County for a total of 1,269 or 49% of the cars stolen so far this year. Denisha lives in an apartment complex where she says there are no security cameras. The police have distributed free clubs to Kia and Hyundai owners that were provided to the county by the car companies. And just last week, Maryland's attorney general joined 17 other states in asking for a federal recall of theft-prone Kias and Hyundais. In Prince George's County, Paul Wagner, News 4.